rather glad it's wet at Millbrook at the moment. The circuit's too damp, therefore we cannot yet drive the 9FF GT9. <laughs> For your information, that is 986 horsepower, 1370 kilograms, and a lot more performance from 100 miles an hour than a Veyron. No traction control, no DSG gearbox. I'm here with Jan Fatauer, who is the father of this insane creation. Uh, Jan, talk me through why you did it, and also how proud you are of it. <laughs> I'm very proud. Yes. Because now, uh, yeah, I, I, I got what I wanted to do. So I wanted to be quicker than the quickest car actually in the world. And this is what we are now. So we are quicker on 300 than the Viron, which is, I think, actually the quickest car. Right, let's just talk through these numbers quickly. I can't remember them all, but Jan will help me. Zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds. So right. relatively slow, given the amount of traction, it's, it's difficult to get it off the line. Zero to 186 miles an hour, wait for it, 17.6 seconds. That's a second faster than the Veyron? Nearly, yes. Nearly one second faster than the Veyron. But here's the good bit. How much faster was it from 200 to 300? So that's 125 miles an hour to 186 miles an hour. 2.6 seconds. 2.6 seconds quicker than a Veyron. I've driven a Veyron. That's not possible. It's not possible for a machine to be <laughs> you, that much quicker. You will see, you will see it. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, the engineering that goes into this car is just unbelievable. I mean, the engine is completely different, isn't it, really? Absolutely. It's completely our development, our construction, and all parts are modified all new. I would say 90% is new. I've been to the factory. I have got a titanium conrod to Jan's design, his own titanium conrod that wasn't quite right. It's now pride of place on my desk. It's a <laughs> lovely thing. This guy is, is a fetishist for lovely engineering pieces. Um, but it's not designed to go around corners, is it? It can. It can. We compared it with the Carrera GT. Yes. On, uh, also together with the AMS. And we got the uh, same time in the salon. There you go. Um, how fast do you reckon we can go here today? Let's have a look down there quickly. Have a look down there. That's the Millbrook Strait. That's about 1.2 miles if you're lucky. Do we think it will do 200 miles an hour? So 325? We measured 0 to 300 from standing still in 870 meters, which is a little over half of a mile. So it did 0 to 186 miles an hour in just over half, an hour, half a mile. Can, that can can't be it. right, that's ridiculous. Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> and so I hope uh, only this 20 kilometers more, I think we will, we will reach and we find enough uh, space for braking. So if you're finding that the morning commute is just a bit slow and you want to go a bit quicker, yeah, and we'll build you one of these. 500,000 euros? Yes, right. Plus taxes? Yes. Please. Plus taxes, please. 50% um, deposit down before he starts the work, 50% on completion. And uh, he's going to build 20 of them and no more than that. Uh, we'll, we'll go and drive the thing then.
very big row indeed. above 120 miles an hour. Yes, I've driven both. This feels faster. And what's more, whereas in the Veyron you just let the four-wheel drive and the DSG transmission just take over and do it for you, in this you really think about what you're doing. Third gear, full boost. Oh, it's a, a complete rush. It must be, I think, the most accelerative road car I've ever driven. Uh, and it's been made by a bloke called Jan who lives in northern Germany. It's uh, an amazing achievement, Jan. Well done. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.